Mm, and because of that, we decided to uh, to. You, you, you said the government neglected you people for a long time. Yes, for a long time. So uh, the best uh, the best choice we found at the moment was to enter into the church and uh, the media has come and uh, uh, our issues, our views, uh, that was the, the aim of that uh, church action and which, uh, which of course, uh, which of course uh, in many ways um, magnified the issues and uh, many people were aware of the, the circumstances uh, at the time and it was uh, because of course, in some ways, it helped. Uh, what impact? What impact did it get in the Norwegian society? Of course, in the Norwegian society, it has um, it has uh, raised. Uh, it helped to raise the issues and to know that there are many people without legal residence permit, and there are many who are suffering. Um, uh, while they have been living in a, uh, as part of this society, who were uh, working and who have children and who are ta uh, paying taxes, and that was, um, of course, it has raised a huge, um, a huge outcry against the government. And there were many who supported us, and there were uh, the media, uh, thanks to the media and the organizations, um, NGOs and uh, other governmental institutions raised the issue with the government. Uh, and in some ways it helped to, to uh, aware uh, the people about the issue. Uh, uh, can you tell us what happened to the crowd? W what happened to them? Some, of, You know, you are here. Yes. Uh, you are part of them. You, you got uh, the refugee status and I believe some also did. What happened to the rest? You know, uh, the situation is not changing very much, and some are still suffering. Uh, some are in the same status as they were uh, before they went to the church, and still uh, a number of Ethiopians are um, in the doubt. They are living in uncertainty. They don't know what to come tomorrow, and uh, we have heard that they have uh, about this the return agreement, and who knows. One day they can be deported without um, any warning, and that is that is the most serious thing uh, as to their lives. And uh, it is sure that they will be tortured, they will be imprisoned, and the most serious consequences they will not be in any uh, in any kind of uh, activity in Ethiopia, whether it is work uh, or uh, something like that, or education or uh, public public sector, they will be shut out uh, immediately. In our final minute, uh, Mr. Bessa, uh, what do you want to tell Norway? What do you want to tell the world while we wind up this interview? What I want to tell uh, both the Norwegian public and the Norwegian government is uh, the current situation in Ethiopia is, um, it is intolerable and Norway as a more democratic nation can uh, bring a change in Ethiopia by working with other Western countries, and the the the, the situation in Ethiopia must be changed. Uh, it is it is a matter of time before uh, things get out of control. And uh, I tell the Norwegian government to tell the issue, to take the issue seriously with the Ethiopian government, and I tell to the world that uh, people are suffering in Ethiopia. Uh, there is repression. There is a a cruel repression against the people of Ethiopia and the pe the world should not off their eyes from that cruel repression. Mr. Biswale Mbesa, human rights activist from Ethiopia, now living in Norway, thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.